Hi, I'm sure you've heard of Dom Perignon, and I'm sure that you know it's a very expensive wine and a good wine, and it's a champagne. It comes in a very kind of unique looking green bottle, and a lot of people like to drink it, a lot of people like to brag about it. But you might not know that Dom Perignon was actually a person. He was actually a monk who lived in the 16th and 17th century, and he worked at an abbey in Haute-Vie, which is in the, in the middle of the Champagne region. Now, he was actually the wine cellar keeper. He kept the wine cellar. And every night, it was his job to go downstairs and pick a bottle of wine for dinner upstairs at the monastery. Now, this is back before we really used a lot of glass bottles in winemaking. So winemaking was always done in, in an oak barrel. Now, what would happen in Champagne is they would collect the grapes, they would ferment them in an oak barrel, and they would just leave the wine in the oak barrel and take a little bit out of it every night and, and serve that for their dinner. Around the end of the 1600s, we started putting wine in glass bottles. And we also got the idea to use a cork as a natural stopper. And this is the first time in history that we could actually keep wine fresh and lay wine down and keep it for more than one year. Well, what happened in Don Perignon's wine cellar is when they started to put their wine into bottles with sturdy corks, what would kind of happen spontaneously is a little bit of yeast and sugar left over in the wine would start to re-ferment. And it would cause bubbles to re was Well before we knew what was caused, what was the cause of fermentation. I think they just thought it was a miracle sent by the gods and they were glad for it. But, so we didn't really know what was going on. So unbeknownst to anybody, a little mini fermentation was taking place inside these bottles of wine. And one night, Dom Perignon went down to the wine cellar to pick the wine for dinner. And he came upon a random bottle of wine, thought that that looked good, and he went to open it. And when he did, it was, he was rather shocked that the cork, instead of him having to, to twist it out, just flew out. And when he poured the wine into a bottle, it bubbled up. And actually, not knowing what was going on, he was a little bit afraid. And they actually used to call champagne the devil water. However, Dom Perignon thought, hmm, well, that's interesting. Maybe I'll give it a taste. And he did. And he thought, ooh, it's wine and it bubbles. It's wine and it's going off in my mouth. It's like fireworks. So he thought this was a good thing. He decided to share it with the rest of the monastery. And legend has it that he ran into the courtyard, rang the bell, and cried out, come quickly, my brothers, I'm drinking stars. And the rest of Champagne history goes from there.